Hey everybody, today we're going to be learning about RxJava. So I just opened up a brand new Android Studio project and I selected Kotlin and Android X. So I have this JSON file here which I'll include in the YouTube description, but it has information for products. So I want to take all of this data and I want to put it inside of our app here. So how can we do that? So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go back to Android Studio and uh, I'll have open up main activity and maybe we can do um, val um, web page contents equals file or actually URL I think yeah URL I'm gonna paste in the URL then we can do dot read text and that should get us the information this should give us all the JSON from that web page there so the read text message does or the read text uh, method does that so I'm going to go ahead and run the app and I'm going to go here and let's wait for it to open up. And it opens up and it crashes instantly. Doesn't even, doesn't even, let's see what the error is though. Is there no error? Let's see if we have, let's see, I'm going to run it one more time. So let's go ahead and run it. Let's go back to the emulator and it just keeps crashing. So what's the error? So if we look through this and I have the log head open up at the bottom, but if we kind of run through this, the kind of error it's giving us is network on main thread exception. This basically means that, hey, we don't want to just go to the web and download some JSON file because, or JSON contents, because say it takes 10 seconds to download this JSON file. If it takes 10 seconds, we don't want to stop the user from actually doing stuff. So we want to do this in the background. The good news is we can do the we can do it in the background with RX Java. So we have that right now. Again, the error is network on main thread exception, which basically means that we're trying to do this on the main thread. Like we're trying to do this when the view is doing stuff. We don't want to block the app. We want users to be able to do stuff with our app while it takes 10 seconds to download. I mean, what if what if it takes 20 seconds? Then you know the user would just have to sit there and wait. But thankfully, with RX Java, we can actually do this on a background thread. So we need to add some stuff to our Android Studio project. We need to add RX Java. So RX Java. So we can just Google that, and I have it. Internet slow. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, internet's so this is uh, the GitHub, uh, the GitHub account for RxJava, and if we scroll down, we can see we can add this to our Gradle file. So I'm going to copy that, and we can see here the latest version is version is 2.2.8. So I'm going to go to build.gradle, and we're going to do this. We're going to do, I'll paste that in there, reformat the code, and what was it? It was 2.2.8. So 2. Let's 2.2.8, so there we go. So that's the latest version. And there's one more thing I also want to add. We want to add, let's add um, RX Java Android. Let's just search for this. And let's go ahead and here we are, RX Android. Same thing, we can just pull this in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. This goes in the Gradle. I don't think we need anything else. That's RX Android. We already have RX Java, that's what we just added. So RX Android is actually at 2.1.1. So paste it in, uh, then this is 2.1.1. Oh, it already has it there for us. Okay, cool. So yeah, it adds uh, RX Android. And so we already have the RX Java, so I think this is all we need. I'm gonna format the, format the code. I'm gonna go ahead and sync now something that you have to do. Then it will go to the internet and download all these libraries. And I think it's done. So I'm gonna cl click the trash can to delete that and close that. Um, so we have our XJava, but we ha we're not actually using it yet. So if you just wanna, you don't have to follow along. If you wanna just watch this video, this, fi this is, that's fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna create a new observable. So observable, and there are a couple of them. There's one from java.util, one from android.database, but the one we wanna use is observable from io.reactive. That's the one we wanna use right there. Okay, we have that dot create, and it's gonna take a type. So just, you don't have to follow along, just kind of watch. So string, this is saying that, hey, the web page content that we're gonna get back is a whole lot, it's a string. It's not, it's not an image, it's not a number, it's not a video, it's a string. It's a bunch of text. Uh, text is another word for a string. So we have that. So what we need to do is we need to take this right here and let's put it inside of 
are, observ are observable here. So we're getting an error, and what is that about? Oh, I, I, uh, I messed up. I pasted it, pasted it in the wrong place. Here, I'll just do it this way. I'm going to copy that line, go inside of here, paste it in there, get rid of, oops, that's not what I wanted to hit, get rid of some of the spacing there. So this is the basics of RxJava. We have our observable here. That is our observable. That's all we're going to do is basically get our web page, get the JSON, and get the text. But all of this fetching the web page is going to be on a background thread. We'll do that. We'll do that in just a second. But for right now, we have it. We have an it variable there. So let's do this. So it dot, and then let's do on next, and let's pass in our web page contents. So great. I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it. I'm going to go to our app. It says it, that's an old message, and it didn't crash. But I'm not sure it did anything either. So we haven't actually subscribed to it yet. So let's go ahead and do this. So we have our observable all set up where we get our web page and then we pass it on to the UI thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Let's do, um, let's do dot subscribe, if I can type subs, subscribe on. And this needs to be schedulers with an S on the end dot IO. That's fine for now. Let's do this. Let's do Actually, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's just, I'll do it this way for now. Let's just subscribe to it. So dot subscribe. And we can put that there and we can do one for success and one for error. So what's going to happen is when it runs the app, if it gets a success here, this is where, we get, this is where we're going to get the data back. So success there. Or if we have an error, we can, we can uh, print something there. Okay. So we have this. Let's do so if we if it if if the URL fetching is successful, we want to do um, d Daniel. So, so we'll just do that right for right now. There's an error. I'm going to click on it and do option enter. Um, it's saved. Um, so just let's, let's make a little bit more space here just so it's easier to see. So. Again, this is all success. The first one is success. Is success. The second one is error. So let's do this. Let's do D. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. D. Daniel. Error. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to go ahead and let's open up our log hat, and I'm going to go ahead and clear all of that, make it bigger. I'm going to run our app, then go back to the emulator. And I think this won't work. Did we actually get an error back? So we have the tag Daniel there. So let's actually search for that. So Daniel, and we're saying, hey, error. We're getting the same error, network on main exception thread. So what's happening is whenever we hit subscribe, it's going to get our observer, all of that right there, and it's going to try to execute it immediately, however long it takes. It could take one second. It could take 10 seconds. It could take one minute. But it's going to try to do all of that. But what the error is saying is, hey, we're still on the main UI thread. So if this web request takes 20 seconds, the user is going to have to wait 20 seconds. The user can't do anything else. It ha the user has to wait. He, has, he or she has to wait 20 seconds. Well, it's not technically true, but for our purposes, that works for now. Um, so how do we do that? So what I hinted at earlier is we need to actually let, before we get, so bef between our observable there, and our subscriber there, we need to do something. So let's do this. Let's do, we need to let it know that, hey, whenever we do this work, let's subscribe on, uh, we want to do all of this work on a background script, on a background thread. But then once we actually have all of that data, we want to, we want to give it up to our UI thread. So this will be, and I think it's Android schedulers dot main thread. So hey, here's our observable. We're going to start something off. We're going to fetch the URL there. We're going to get its contents. And all of that's going to happen on a background thread. Then we're going to bring it to the UI thread. And then we're going to display all the, er all the error, either the error. If it's an error, it'll display an error. Otherwise, if it's successful, it will display success. So let's go ahead and run that. I'm going to clear that, get rid of that, go back to our app. And here it is. I'm not sure it did anything, 
but I think I know why that is. So if we actually look at this error here, it says error. We're getting an RX Java error, but it says security exception. Oh, we can search for Daniel. So Daniel, make that easier. Permission denied. So we don't have the permission in our manifest. What that means is every app that has to go to the internet to get stuff has to add something to the manifest. So let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's do, I think it's uses permission internet, exactly what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I think this is the last thing we need. I'm going to close that. I'm going to shift click to close that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a trash can there. I'm going to save it. We have our app. So now let's go ahead and I think this might work. Let's go ahead and run it, run it and see what happens. So it didn't crash. And if we look at our log, if we look at our log cat, See, we get Daniel success, and here is all of our JSON. If I were to go back to uh, were to go back to our URL here, we can see, yeah, we have small jeans, we have black shirt, uh, red jeans, yellow shirt, and if we go back to Android Studio, you can successfully see that, hey, we've used RX Java here. All of that is RX Java. We've you've, we've used RX Java to do stuff on the background thread. We're gonna do it on a background thread. Oops. That means what thread it's, the background stuff's gonna be on. That's gonna be on a foreground thread. So once, we, once it does all the work, it will send it over to our subscriber here. And so in this, from here on out, we could do all kinds of stuff with this data. We could build a recycler view that actually displayed a list of the products here. But for our purposes, I think this is good enough. I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, I kind of explained multiple times what all of this is. But I hope to make many parts to this series. If you have questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to respond if I have time. Um, otherwise, you can Google Android Studio or you can Google RX Java, maybe do some reading on that. But I hope to do a lot more on observables or, or on observers and, uh, and on observables here. Um, so hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next part.